Hi guys, can you hear me? Yes. All right, good. Yes, we should. How are you? How are you? Everything good? Hello. Yes, Bye, everything's Bye. fine. All right. So we have everybody. It's cold or not in your house? Jenny Quesada, do you have air conditioning yes, in your is. house? Yes, because it's very hot. Right now it's hot. Do you I have air conditioning on? And in the bed, in the kitchen, living room, and dining room. We had air conditioning. Wow. I remember yeah. that in San Miguel, that in San Miguel, even, even people who, how can I say this? Even people who are very poor have air conditioning because it's, it's like a basic necessity. <laughs> Yeah, and hmm? the the problem is that weather. Mm -hmm. And the energy I is expensive than San Salvador. Oh, it's more expensive. Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm hmm. I com compare. I? I compare. I compare is more expensive. There's EO in San Salvador is AES. Oh, yeah, here is, in, in, what is it in San Miguel? EOS. EOS. Energía. Okay. Man. <clears throat> and I have a one last question about San Miguel. Really? Is it El Cuco or Cuco Beach? I can hear you. Yeah, I'm sorry. Can, can you hear me? Yeah, but it was freezing. A little freezing. Okay. Yeah, I have a question. Class, am I freezing on you? A little bit. No, teacher, for me, no. Yeah, I, I listen to Jenny freeze a little, but I don't know if it's my internet or maybe Jenny. No, I, I think it's from her, yeah, for her signal. Oh, okay. Yeah, of course. My problem. <laughs> Sorry. No. No, no, it's okay. I mean, sometimes mm -hmm. the internet is bad, and it happens to mm -hmm. something. It happens to the best. <laughs> what do you say about the cuco? Or the cuco oh yeah, beach? what is the original name? Is it a cuco beach or a cuco beach? I think it's that a cuco. Yes, it is El Cuco. Mm -hmm. No, the reason why I ask you that because a lot of people from San Miguel say vamos a Cuco. That is El Cuco. You know, let me see, let me check. Mm -hmm. Playa El Cuco, opposite oh, El Cuco. Mm -hmm. And next to is the Playa Las Flores. Las Flores. Is it nice? It's beautiful beach. Oh, cool. But the best is Punta Mango Beach. I remember there's one in uh, Tamarin. No, wait. One, there's, there's a beautiful beach in, um, in Usulutan. What is the name? Pino? Espino Beach. Man, is, is, cool. is, is the same, the Punta Mango. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. It's the same, the Punta Mango. But Punta it's, Mango is a resort or is a beach? Is the, is the 
Cantón, así le llama. Caserío. Oh, okay. caserío. Oh. Wow, pero se ve bien ella en la punta mango. Beach. Mm -hmm. Cool. Ok, claro, so, uh, let me share my screen. Tun, 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 Okay, so here we're going to learn in this class, it says in this section, participants will learn compound family terms. Let's see what that means. Ready to learn new words? Can Grab you hear? a pen, paper, and take notes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Go over the family tree. You will find some compound terms which use prefixes and some others use suffixes. Now that you know more family terms, talk in class about your family tree. Don't forget to share your information on our discussion box. That's it? Okay. Te me hubiera sido mejor, let's learn family terms. <laughs> okay, look, family. We have pretty much in English, you say that, um, we say, um, the immediate family, we have brother, sister. Everything starts with grandfather, grandmother. Correct? Yeah. Then mother, yeah. father, uncle or aunt. Tia is aunt, it's not aunt. Aunt is hormiga, okay? Yeah. But the, you, can, you can write it without the, just yes, uh, like an aunt. No, but the pronunciation is aunt. Okay. Aunt. Aunt. You have to, Aunt. maybe maybe the U is silent, but you have to say it with your lips. Aunt. Okay, Aunt. Like, like Aunt Jemima. Aunt Jemima. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not Aunt Jemima, it's Aunt Jemima. Yeah, okay, cool. And then we have son, daughter, nephew, and niece. Now, the family of your spouse Lo mismo. Father in law. But listen, it's law, not love. No. What is law, Jenny Quesada? Legal sería? Yes. I ask you because you are a lawyer, correct? Mm -hmm. So law. Is lay. So suero is your father in law, mother in law, brother or sister in law. Y el primo, el primo abuelo de mi esposa. And then you just say the my wife's cousin because in law is only immediate family. Y si no, dígame cómo se llama el abuelo de, de mi esposa. ¿Cómo le digo? El abuelo de mi esposa. Pero el papá de mi esposa es mi suegro. Right? Your father-in-law. My father-in-law. So really the term grandfather-in-law doesn't really exist. It's only for immediate family, which is mother, father, Sister and brother. Okay. No, maybe. I don't know. Yes. Yeah, okay. No. Okay, okay. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Okay, right. and thank you. <laughs> okay. 
So, um, and if you want to generalize, if you want to generalize like all the family of your wife and all the family of your husband, you just say my in-laws. So what do you do in Christmas vacation? Oh, okay. In Christmas, we spend time with my family. And in New Year's, with my in-laws. Just like that, in-laws. In-laws in general. So when I say that is, I'm telling you is my wife's family. Okay. All right. Family in laws or only laws? Just in laws. In laws. So it's a plural of law. Mm -hmm. My in laws. Okay. Do you do you get along with your in laws? Yes. Yeah, thank you, Alex. Yes, yes. Yeah, good, oh, thank yeah. you. Thank you for answering because that means that you do listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, really. no, really, it's very difficult because like, it's very like, supposedly we're 12 people and I am speaking alone. And when <laughs> I make question, it's very difficult to see 12 people just looking. So really, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you don't listen to me. I don't know if maybe my internet is bad. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I, I think uh, we need uh, to be more. <laughs> yeah, so more, that's why I say hello, hello, hello. <laughs> uh, we, have, we have to be more be participant. My, yeah, that, that my husband is my husband. My husband is lawyer too. Oh, sorry. Oh, he's a lawyer. Yeah, Jenny. I think I think your internet is bad at the oh. moment. My husband is lawyer, so he, he is teacher. Yes, he is oh. teacher in the university. Yeah. Okay, oh, I, I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. I, I, I understand. I, I, I think you, you said that you're e, 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 more or less because I, I heard that your husband is a lawyer too and he's a teacher in the university. Is, uh, yes, is the first night he teach in the virtual. <laughs> virtual. Oh, okay. Uh, and he said that uh, I don't know what happened the, when the people saw him, but every don't talk. Yes, it's very uncomfortable the, because the because you cup. don't know. Yes, because you don't know if 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 they're listening, or you don't know if you're not paying attention, or you don't know if you don't want to participate. There's many questions like, okay, yeah. what's wrong? <laughs> like, what, like you say, oh, they, yeah, they don't care, uh -huh, or they can't hear me, or they don't care, or they don't yeah, want to participate. <laughs> I was I was I was listening on the radio that there is an application that kids use that the application records you like five minutes. No, it records you like for 10 seconds. Like this, and then you can go to sleep and then it, it looks like you are active. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that is so cool. Can you imagine that application? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Some people tell me, oh, my son, he has an application that um, I guess the application tells you, okay, move <laughs> normally. <laughs> you know, and then, and then it records you. So then you leave that application on Zoom <laughs> and it's like you're active. <laughs> that's so cool. That's the that's a way to, to cheer the, to your teacher. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so let's do let's let's do to this listening. It says instructions. Listen to Victor. Tell a friend about his family reunion. So listen to Victor. Tell a friend about his family reunion. What are they celebrating at the reunion? Choose the right answer.
Family Reunion A. Listen to Victor tell a friend about his family reunion. What were they celebrating at the reunion? Hey, Victor, you're back in town. So how did it go? Uh, it was great. I wasn't sure I was going to enjoy it, but it turned out to be a lot of fun. Was your grandma surprised? Completely. She knew we'd do something special for her 80th birthday, but she never expected that the whole family would turn up for a reunion. How many people were there? Lots. I'd say about 80 or so. Folks showed up from all over the place. We had people from Texas, Chicago, Florida, California, and even Mexico. I got to see people I hadn't seen for years, like Luann, my uncle's cousin. Actually, I don't think I've seen her since I was a little kid. Oh, and my brother Rudy was there with his wife and their new baby, grandma's first great-granddaughter. That sounds like fun. So was there anyone there you didn't recognize? Yeah, but that was okay because as soon as we got there, we each got a name tag showing how we were related to grandma. Like mine said, Victor, Anita's grandson, Hector's son. That's a cool idea. So you could immediately see how you were related to someone. Yeah, most people have changed a lot over the years. Plus, my mother-in-law came along because she hadn't seen any of these people since our wedding, so the name tags worked out really well. So were there other people like your mother-in-law? I mean, she's not really a relative. Oh, sure. There were quite a few people who weren't directly descended from grandma, like people's in-laws, neighbors, friends of the family. But their name tags said who they were and what the connection was. <laughs> Sounds like it must have been a lot of fun. I bet your grandma was happy. Yeah, really happy. Do you think he's Latino? Mm. Okay, what are they celebrating? Um, yeah, they're celebrating yeah, her, yeah. his they grandma. Celebrate. His, uh, grandmother Ada's birthday. They're celebrating Victor's grandmother. Eighty. Eighty's birthday. But which of the third one? Yeah, they had Which of the three is correct? The second one. Second. Yeah, at first you heard like a, like a, he said like a, he said uh, eighty eight, but it's eighty birthday. I, I think that actually the, the, the second one, one is the eighty the eighty birthday, but but it is the birthday too, the grandmother's birthday. But you know, but I can't, technically I can't remember the number. But I can remember the number, so for me, the third one is the best. Yes, mm -hmm. and I I would personally go for the third one. Why? Because of the um, grammar. They're celebrating Victor's grandmother's birthday. Birthday. 80th birthday. Mm -hmm. nah, I put 80th birthday. birthday. Okay, and if you notice in the in the other one. Like, for example, number one, it should be they're celebrating Victor's grandmother's 88th birthday. It should have been a yeah. possession, a possessive. Grandmother, apostrophe S. There's number two, they're celebrating Victor's grandmother's 80th birthday. 80, 80th birthday. It should have been another apostrophe S. Correct. So that's why grammatically, they're, they're actually celebrating a birthday. So this is not wrong. Oh, yeah. I yeah. would put number three. Let's see what that says. Or it's the second one. It's the second one? Yeah. Yeah. Second día les reclaman a ustedes. No, de eso ustedes reclamen reclamen de esto. Hey, but the platform is wrong. Si es la número dos, is wrong. Es la número dos. Number two. No. It is not correct. It's not wrong. It's good. It's good. It's good. No, it's not grammar. There's a grammatical mistake right there. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Why teacher? Yes. Teacher, and it's correct that there are two two words with apostrophe, victors and grandmothers. Yeah. Is correct? Yes. Okay. There, there can be many words uh, with apostrophe. Because the grandmother belongs to Victor and the birthday belongs to the grandmother. <laughs> So, I mean, here, 
It's correct, but if you put a, we need an apostrophe after grandmother. Imagine that's why English is beautiful. Porque estamos celebrando el cumpleaños de la abuela. De, you see, we say two de, de. So in English, you just say apostrophe yes, apostrophe yes. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so everybody put number two. I'm going to put number three. Let me see what, what it says. I will correct it later. Okay. How many people were there about? 80 or more. More, more than 80. Y esto está malo también, because it should have been about how many people were there. Mm. So what do you think it is? 80. 80. 80. You can put uh, 88. 80, 88. 88. Or eight. several. 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 Okay, let's, let's yeah, put 80. It has to, has to be more than 80. Okay, so let's put a lots of people. Let's put lots. <laughs> <laughs> Which places does he mention people came from? Uh, Texas, Texas, Chicago, Chicago Florida, 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 California, California, Mexico. California. Even, even Mexico. <laughs> That's so cool. My friends don't. My friends don't even visit me, and they live three blocks from my house. <laughs> okay, who is the first relative he mentions at the reunion? Do you remember? Yes, yeah, his uncle. Cousin. Cousin. Yeah, uncle's cousin, right? Cousin or uncle? Uncle's cousin. His uncle's cousin. Yes. Yeah. Who else besides relatives were at the reunion? Those. Mother-in-law. His mother-in-law. Friends of family. Friends of the family. Friends of the family. Okay, that's me. Yeah, you see? We told yeah. you. No, no, I know. I know. I know it's number two, but I wanted to see if you see, you see, por eso, según día le reclaman and say, hey, look, si son tan exigentes, entonces nosotros también. This is not correct. For me, the second one uh, also lost, uh, lots. Yeah, because That's lots, you're not saying, I mean, 80 people is a lot of people, so no, really it's, but... it's correct. So what was it, 80? 80. More than 80. It's oh, 80. Uh, fine. <laughs> you know, I think it's bad because he, really... Yes, he didn't say that. He, he said yeah, a it, lot it, of people. I don't think he counted all the people. There were 80 people there. I mean, in a situation like that, I would say there were like like 80, 100 people there. So there were a lot of people. He, he said he yeah. said like uh, over than 80. Over than uh, But, but okay. we, I mean, the important thing is that you have the idea. You get the idea. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's see what's next. Full house. Oh, man, read about this story. This woman <laughs> is crazy. This family is crazy. <clears throat> We're going to read this, okay? So we have, well, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight paragraphs, pretty much. Can you see? Yes. Yes, <laughs> I can see, but I can read it. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. You, you yes. Good. Uh, <clears throat> nice, nice glasses. What about now? Tell me when you when it's readable. Yes, yeah, good. Yes. All right. Bef no. no, before, before uh, more no. closer, closer. Wow, well, I mean I, more, I soon. more soon. More soon. More soon. More soon. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 200. <laughs> yeah, now it's fine. I can't see. 
That was okay. fun for the youngers. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, I mean, also the page is very bad. It's, it's not, it's not yeah. a good copy. Yeah, right? Yeah. The resolution of the... Yes. It's okay, teacher. All right. Um, Let me see. All right, let's start. Let me see. I'm going to pick randomly here. Me? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Kalina, can you please read the first paragraph? And when you finish, you choose the second person to read the next paragraph. That okay, way I... get ready, Oscar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, she already chose the person. <laughs> All right. Walk Go. into the California home of any bellies. And her and adults, sorry. And her husband, Jim Silcock. And you will see kids everywhere playing video games, doing homeworks, and getting ready for dinner. There are 30 boys in this close night house. Uh, knit. Close knit. Knit household. And uh, Annabelle's in their mom. Teddy voice. Uh, Bells has wanted to help children since she was a kid. I was intrigued by the movie Oliver in the 60s, a musical based on the Charles Dickens movie, novel, novel Oliver Twist. I told my mom, that I want, no, perdón, sorry, that's what I want to do. I want to do adopt orphans. Wow. Very good. Yes. Uh, this is a true story, by the way. Wow. I'm crazy with see. one. <laughs> I, have you read Oliver Twist? I love that book. This is nice. Yes, yeah. it's good. All right. Who is next, Kalina? Me. Okay, go ahead. Hey, me. You said, Anne's voice range is aged from. Oh, three... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Excuse me, real quick. Do you have any questions, class, regarding the first paragraph? Any words that uh, maybe you? Yeah. Sure for of? for example, for example, the, um, the um, knees, the oh, close knee. Closed net in this closed net house. Closed net is like um, the family, they're very close. Very close, okay. They're very united. All right. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? How was all teacher? Excuse me? Household. Household, hogar, in your household. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Um, when you go, for example, let me give you a better idea of what a household is. You know what is Siman, right? I mean, Siman, everybody knows Siman, correct? Yes. Okay. If you notice Siman, they have many different departments. It's not only clothes, they have, they have an electronic department, correct? Yes. They have um, a jewelry furniture. department, furniture, and they also have a household department. So what is that? In the household departments is artículos de hogar, prácticamente, right? Mm -hmm. What is that? Uh, licuadoras, um, sartenes. That is, in English, ese departamento se llama household department. Okay. I think in Spanish is artículos de hogar. Creo que así se llama ese departamento. Like, like, like they say, they say the, the white line. The white line, uh, for example, um, refrigerators and yeah uh -huh. the white line yes it's a white line but uh, 
artículos de hogar no solo es electrodomésticos, porque electrodoméstico dice la palabra es electronic. Mm. So, uh, artículos de hogar va de una toalla de, de mano, mm. cosas que compramos por el hogar. ¿no? Ok. Like, Hello, um, Ajá. Household products, yes. Mm -hmm. Sartenes, eh, platos, you know. And not necessarily only electrical. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh. Like, for example, me, um, I don't know about you, but I love to go to esas tiendas de segunda. And um, I like the household department. Yes. Yeah, you, you find this it. is nice. Oh, Man, you find <laughs> beautiful things. Excuse me? Right. It's nice to go to their places. Yeah, like, I like going like, there. Like, you find for example, that. like Epa. This I love stuff. Epa. <laughs> yeah. no, but no, but I'm talking about the like second one. The second hand. Use, right? Second hand. Okay, uh, okay. Like a um, premium, called Teach premium chair. center. Oh, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. You bought the Don Quixote in this store, right? No, the no. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. yes, oh, yeah, that, that one. You came last time. Oh, yeah, yeah. That yes. Don Quixote, I bought it there. Yes. No, I, I, I thought I thought you were talking about the book. No. Yes. No, I, no, yeah, no, 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 the book, no. Yeah, but my Don Quixote, yeah, I bought him in the store. Um, I you have, can find tools, nice tools, right? The oh, yes. Hands, right? Um, I bought a grill machine, like to grill. Right. Uh, but it's big. It was like big machine. But the problem is that, you know, so well, what is that? Mm -hmm. And I reached, and I, I think, I think I am tall. So when I got it, and you know, and I connected it, and it worked perfectly, and it cost me like eight dollars. Right. Yeah. But I, I, I like buying things, household items. I love that. Okay, so let's continue with the second paragraph. Then, sorry, go, go ahead. Okay, you said. Ains boys range in age from three to 25. All of them are challenging in some way. They each have a special need, physically, 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 physically emotionally, uh, or at school, says Bells. She doesn't fo focus on what focus. her focus. Okay. She doesn't focus on what her kids can do, only on what they can. They go to mainstream schools, take karate, go skating at the roller ink, I think, and even act on television and televisions. In an interesting twist, the thing of the boy of, of her boys are going to be in a local theater's production of Oliver. Okay, good. So do we understand everything here? Main For example, tradition. no, some some parts. Okay, all of them are challenged. Do you know what is challenged? Yes, they they challenge yes. each other, right? Yeah. To, to complete. Um, this is a good term for you, Kalena, because you're a teacher. Um. If you notice, this is a very, very polite way of saying um, they're challenged. <clears throat> it's a very polite way of saying they have special needs. Yes? Uh, yes, I understand. Uh -huh. Okay, so it's very cool. It's like, for example, my son, my son uh, is, uh, he's challenged because he has a speech impediment. Yes? Um, I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be something very bad. It can be something, but you, everybody, we have a challenge somewhere. I'm, you know, yeah. some people, like, they, they just can't learn. Like, no, no, se me queda, no, se me queda, you know, I'm challenged. Yeah. Because in Spanish, I, yo siento que es ofensivo decir, el niño es especial. 
you know why? Because in English that sounds doesn't sound very nice because special is a good positive word. <clears throat> and unfortunately, if a kid is in a wheelchair and he has Down syndrome, you know, el niño es especial o or maybe el niño requiere de atención especial. Okay, yeah, I understand that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are those are like very good terms to use. They're challenged. Okay, so they each have special needs, physically, emotionally, or at school. Mm -hmm. You see, that's what I'm telling you. Like, um, it doesn't have to be something dramatical. <laughs> It can be something simple, but it's challenged. Okay, she doesn't focus on what her kids can do, only what they can do. They go to mainstream schools. What is mainstream? I don't know, teacher. Like public schools, like uh -huh. regular schools? I don't know. Yeah, mainstream, like a normal school. Normal school, right. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's like ma mainstreams. Mainstream is something normal or something conventional. Okay. So in other words, they go to mainstream schools. They don't go to private or special The regular schools. school. Uh -huh. the regular yes, school. Uh -huh. it's a mainstream. They take karate, they go skating, they go skating at the roller rink. They even act on television. An interesting twist, 13 of the boys are going to be on a local theater production. All right. Do you understand that? An interesting twist? Interesting. That is an expression. OK, no. Like a change, right, of, of your normal activities. No, OK, twist no. comes from, from the word twist. Yeah, correct. Okay, okay. Like for example, um, this was funny because they had a very good twist. There was a a Congress woman from El Salvador, and she was demanding, demanding. She was demanding that the president of El Salvador speaks. If he goes for Ukraine or if he goes for um, Russia. Russia. And she was demanding, we need to know, we need to know, because we believe in peace, et cetera. So then the other, the other congressman told them, okay, can we have your opinion on the Cristiani case? Boom, a twist. Because ella se quedó like, <laughs> she just stayed quiet. Because she was talking about peace she was talking about that we don't support war which is good it's good 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 and she was demanding you know el salvador to pronounce en que lado está? and the other person said okay good we understand that but can you talk regarding uh cristiani and and, and the war uh, and she just stayed quiet and that was a twist so maybe she was not expecting that Un giro. Un giro, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It was funny, mm -hmm. I, I like I like to watch the news because it's a big circus. It's so stupid. When I have nothing to do, I when I'm eating dinner, I, I'm watching the news. All right. So Oscar, choose the third victim. Okay. Um, let me see, um, Miguel Franco. <laughs> okay, I was expecting a woman, but no, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, um, raising 30 boys is not a small task. Every day, a small army of shield cares, workers. Know. Nurses and volunteers come in to help cook and clean, watch Terry loads of laundry a day, and take care of her of health needs. OK. 
Okay, that's, that, that's it? Yeah, I think so, yes. Oh, you lucky it was short. Yeah. <laughs> Questions here? Um, task, but you know, I think, I think task is now becoming a, a Spanish word. Yo estoy viendo bastante eso en español ya. Hey, es un task. Multitask. Por multitask. <laughs> multitask. Uh -huh. ¿Y qué es eso? Es un task. Ya, ya lo he oído así, no sé. Do you, you know what a task is? Yes. Uh, it's a task. Yeah. An activity. Mm -hmm. Ajá, it's an activity or something you have to do. Uh, a duty that you have to do. A duty, yes. Maybe in your job, in your house. A duty uh, is something you have to do as a mother, as a wife, as <clears throat> as a father, as a husband, as a boss, as an employee. Mm -hmm. Hey, Rafael, you have two cachos, man. <laughs> you, <laughs> look. Really? <laughs> yeah. Or <laughs> a fly. Yeah. <laughs> look right there. You look uh, exactly cool. right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, all right, Miguel, choose the next person, please. Okay, um, uh, Jenny Quesada. Okay. <laughs> all right. To find out how much salt a large family costs, we follow Jean Seacold. Seacold. Seacold to the grocery store. He is paying. Uh, 80,000, no, 80, 800, 8,800. 880. 880, okay. For food for one week. Every month they spend 2,000 to run five min, mini vans, 15,000 15, for the 14 pay helpers and more than 10,000 on dental and medical expenses. They're also closing insurance and mortgage payment. Can you imagine that? Yeah, there's a lot of money or they spend a lot, right? Terrible. You need it. I don't know if you know this, but also in the United States, there's um there's a thing. Um, does anybody watch The Good Doctor? Nope. I yeah. like this. That that TV show. Yeah. Man is good. My remember mother, how? Remember he lived in a foster home. What happens mm. is that a lot of um, ¿cómo se puede decir esto? a lot of poor people in the United not poor people, but like white people, the decent people that live in trailers, they white adopt trash. they white trash people. They adopt people, they adopt children. And the only reason why they adopt children is because the government pays them. Can you imagine that business in El Salvador? Unas casas tuvieran hasta 20 niños, mi Yeah. Yeah. So really, uh, normally this type of people, they, you know, they make money from the government. Anything they can get for free, they do it. And they adopt a lot of children. Lastimosamente, you know, um, they don't do it for the love of the children. They only want money. Right. Foster parents, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember, remember Terminator Two. Yes. Remember I the children. John, John Connor was living in a yeah. foster home. <laughs> he was living in a foster home. That he, he said he has lived in many different foster homes. And remember his parents that they were very bad <laughs> yeah. to him. Yeah, because they don't care. Yeah. They treat him bad. It's like, hey. yeah. They only they want get the money killed by from the, the Terminator. <laughs> yeah, Terminator killed them. So, um, yeah, and and 
So okay. imagine, look, look what it says here. The government gives them $26,000 a month. Right. They're also right. in, the, in the movie Chasam teacher or uh, in class, they're, they're also a, a foster home where, where Chasam lives. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a very nice, nice, nice movie and, and, and a representation of the foster parents, of foster's parents. Oh, okay, yeah. And statistics, statistics say that people that adopt a child for money, that child is always going to live in different um, foster homes. People that really adopt a child with for no money, only because from the heart, then that person, that, that child will have a good life because they will mm -hmm. have love in the family. Yeah, so let's see. People, yeah, the other people, they just want the money. To make a business. Yeah, they make business from that. <clears throat> and okay, let's see here. So we have $880. So a month, they spend $2,000 in food. $15,000 for the helpers. So that's $17,000. And $10,000 on dental and medical expenses. So that's how much? 20, wait, wait, 25, $27,000 a month. And they only received 26,000. <clears throat> so it's not a good business. It's <laughs> not. Yeah, maybe it's not a good business. Right. Nada que los tienen ahí trabajando como maquileros, right? Making shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you know, hablando de eso, do you know, um, do you know what is a nun? Yeah. A nun, right? In, in, in the Catholic religion, you yeah. have a priest yeah. Yeah, and you have a nun. A nun. A nun. Yeah. But do you oh, know wow. that El Salvador doesn't have nuns? Why is oh. that? I didn't well, know no. this. It was, it was very interesting. Um, <clears throat> I used to teach. She was my student. She was the nun mm -hmm. of San Antonio de Pau, where, where the old people live. <clears throat> and she explained to me one day and she said, no, teacher, um, because we're speaking about titulos, titles. In English, in Espanol también, title is not only your diploma. Title is, um, Rafael, where do you work? I work in La Constancia. And what is your title? Cell manager. Okay, good. Sales manager. Yes? No me dijo, oh, soy ingeniero. No, what is your title there? Es una forma de preguntar cuál es su título en la empresa. So, oh, I, I, am a, I am an assistant. I am a secretary. I am a supervisor. I am this, etc. <clears throat> so she was explaining to me that the term none, I mean, El Salvador doesn't have nuns. And she explained to me, yeah, she explained to me the real term of a nun <clears throat> only Guatemala has nuns mm. and they actually live under a church and they it's scary I promise you it's scary and she <laughs> said that they never leave they never leave they never I, I don't know they never see sunlight <laughs> and when they when they have visitors because these women have fully fully they dedicate their life to the church to serving the church. And I said, really? So then why, why, porque dicen monjas? He says, she says, technically it's not correct, but uh, we can't stop and explain the story to everybody. Entonces, ¿qué son ustedes? Somos sor. Technically the correct word is sor. Okay. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I learned that. A nun, a nun, my respects for a woman who wants to be a nun because she is fully going to be dedicated to the church. And she told me that in Central America, I think only Guatemala has them. 
and I asked, pregunté, so does she have family? Yeah, usually when the family visits them, the family has, no sé, por un vidrio o algo así. And I said, what about if they get sick? Oh, o sea, tampoco es extreme, right? Pero, and desde el tiempo medieval, eso es una monja, so. Me lo ah. dijo, me lo dijo la, <coughs> la sor de San Antonio. Okay. It's an I think that the nuns, the nuns has a, a, a different um, types. I don't know how to say that. Kind Categories. Of, and no categories, like uh, like a congregaciones, different. Okay. So oh, yeah. th those are ones doesn't uh, see the light, uh, no salen nunca, they, they has a, but the other ones, it's called nuns also, but they have another another congregation. Oh. It, they look, uh, hasta sus, sus vestimentas son diferentes. Oh, really? Según, hay unas que se amarran una pita en la cintura, hay otras que usan hasta diferentes tipos de, de, uh -huh. de taparse. Yeah. Entonces, es it's like a, a, a different uh, kind of, I don't know, mm -hmm. congregations. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, no, but that's all I remember. That, she that was many years ago, and, and she told me that. that like, mm -hmm. really, the word, the technical word, none, none. And, and not they asked her, and she started telling me, yeah. like, you know, El Salvador mm -hmm. doesn't really have nuns. And I'm like, oh, really? Why? And it was a very interesting talk. The whole class was like this. Mm -hmm. Really? Wow, this is so interesting because it's history. <laughs> and I love that because when I asked her, le dije, ¿por qué le dicen monjas entonces? Mm -hmm. Es como cuando le dicen cura o padre o un sacerdote. It's not correct. No son curas ni padres, son sacerdotes. But, you know, people say curas and they understand. They just say, oh, okay, hi. Okay, oh. Yeah, she was very serious, that nun. <laughs> she was very like, mm. yeah. She had a, yeah, I remember her. <clears throat> so why were we saying that? Oh, because nada que los tenían una maquila los pobres niños abajo, underground. Oh, and then supposedly um, what these nuns do underground is like they make um, las, ¿cómo se llama esas cosas? Hostias. Or anything, anything that the priest tells them, look, we need you to do this. Which I, I think is kind of bad because literally they, they don't have a life. Yeah, they, they got the factory over there. Life. They chose that life, exactly. Okay. All right, uh, who's the next victim? Nori. <laughs> Jenny, I think you read, right? I, yes. Uh, Alex Cornejo. All right, Alex, let's read. Oh, okay. Uh, the family, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, the family receives 26 thousands a month from the federal government and has some in income from a family business. All the money is spent on the children having new clothes and fancy cars. Cars, right? Is, is it important to, to build? Sorry, sorry. Having new clothes and fancy cars isn't important to build. Yes, okay, yeah, because read the punctuation here. All the yeah. money is spent on the children. Yeah, the money. Having new clothes and fancy cars isn't important to Bells. Yeah, sorry. All right, no, it's okay. Um, questions? You understand income, right? Uh, no, can you explain a little bit? I mean, sure. That. Let me see. Uh, can it. someone? No, 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 but don't say it in Spanish. Can someone explain to him what income is? The uh, money. Maybe, maybe the the money that 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 you get if you okay. work for someone. The money that they you, get from the family business that they have. Mm -hmm. Okay, if but income an, income. Uh, uh, Yes, go ahead. Sorry, if you're an employee, your income is your salary. 
And if yeah. you are a, you have a business, mm -hmm. your income is what product you sell is, is your income, the money you get in your business. If you're an employee, it's your salary. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Thank you, Rafael. Yes, is, is your salary or more? It's another technical way of saying, like, imagine you go to a bank and you need money and they say, okay, good. Uh, so, Alex, how much money do you, it says here that you make, you want to borrow $50,000 from the bank, but it says that you only make $1,000. Do you have mm -hmm. other incomes? Mm -hmm. Okay. So oh, much. yes, uh, I have a, a family business. Oh, okay. We need, we need that information, only that. Oh yes, my wife works too. Okay, everything, everything that's an in income. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's an income. It's like technical words that usually banks ask for, or every time you fill out an application on something, mm -hmm. because sometimes it says, what's your family, like when you buy a house. Mm -hmm. They always ask you, they, it's very strange that they ask you, what is your salary? They always ask you, what is your income? And then you put really your ingresos, you know, like, oh, okay, uh, I make this much money from my salary. I make this much money from my side I rent, business. I rented a house, maybe. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. I sell crack. You can collect <laughs> the rent, too. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Uh, pido ofrendas, you know. Dicen que esa es la nueva modalidad cuando se están en buses. Que imagínense que están asesorados están. I got to sing to the bus. In the bus. I sing in the bus. No, I was speaking with a friend today. He tells me that están tan asesorados los ladrones. Like, he says en la popa, like there's a there. Hay un tramo de la popa that is dark where they where they take your money. But they don't, they don't go to you straight, like, give me your money and say, la colaboración es de dos dólares. Mm -hmm. like, I, I don't know, Jenny, maybe that's true or not. <laughs> but if the police stops them, uh -huh, that was saltando. no, pedí colaboración, which is different. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's smart. <laughs> oh my God. Can you imagine someone tattooed with big one eight in their face? Hey, I need two dollars. Can you collaborate with two dollars, C V at home? There's five. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, you you scared anyway. Yeah, yeah. you you fear in, uh, in the eighties. Oh, really? Yeah, the the, the niños uh, when you were in a in a bus, uh, they told you, hey, give us some collaboration. Yeah. But they are with the guns. Yeah. I heard that extortions, they do that to your business, to the stores. Mm -hmm. They don't say, hey, we're extortioning you. They ask you, hey, we, we will need, I don't know, five, 10, $15 collaboration. Because legally, I don't know. I don't know if that's true, but it makes sense. Legally, if the police stop me, hey, no, yo no se lo quito. I said collaboration. They are collaborating. Collaborating. <laughs> y existe, it's different, teacher, the robar y hurto. Robar is when hay violencia. Hurto es cuando simplemente tomas algo. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so hurto, hurto, I imagine, is more complicated to defend. Oh. No, no, es robo, robo, porque existe violencia. Es cuando tú ejerces violencia para quitar algo. En cambio, hurto es que tomas algo, pero no ejerciste violencia. Okay, but let's say, let's say I get on a bus. <clears throat> All right, and I say, hey, Jenny, you know what? I need you to collaborate with $2, but my face is like I am a killer. <laughs> so here you come and you give me $2. Mm -hmm. And the police comes in that moment and you say, and Jenny, you said, hey, police, look, he stole money from me. And in that moment, I said, no, would that be hurto? Because I said, I need you to collaborate. Exacto. No existe ningún tipo de delito porque es una oh, colaboración. <laughs> That's so smart, man. Oh, man, Marenos are smart. Mm -hmm. 
So <laughs> is there any different different word between orto and, and, and robbery robbery? It's the same word you use for them. So urto is like like when 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 we see the, the, the videos on Facebook that you know the video cameras they catch you. It's like nobody's looking and you take something and, and you go. That's urto, right? Yes. Right. In English. Oh, okay. That's a good question. I'm gonna find out about that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, cool. All right, and let's read the let's read the last paragraph. Who's next? Choose your next victim, please. Okay. Um who's next? Um uh, uh Nori, I don't know. Nori, maybe. Okay, let me try. Sure. Even with my glasses, glasses I can see. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> how how do the kids feel? Say, Tony. Ah, uh, the family is there whenever I need something. You can read. Uh, <laughs> 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 Can you read that? I, uh, uh, too okay. much or too little? No, no, it's okay, teacher. Okay, go. Cool. Okay. <laughs> okay. The family is there whenever I need something under all these cows. I feel like I'm in love. This way my dream, and this was my dream, and everything about that I'm doing was everything I wanted to happen in my life, say Annabelle. So absolutely no regret. Regrets. This is perfect. Uh, no regret. This is perfect. I couldn't ask for into the better, maybe a bigger house you know will be nice all right good one thing it says the family is there whenever i need something under all this chaos 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 mm -hmm. i feel like i am loved chaos do you understand what chaos is yes. san chaos. salvador at seven the streets of san salvador at 7 30 in the morning <laughs> forget yeah. it forget it <laughs> total chaos correct yes right the total or fridays fridays is a total chaos too every fridays day. and mondays every day is a chaos actually <laughs> yeah yeah remember remember when um when um when the pandemic started that was a big chaos in the world Yes. Yeah. Did, have you had COVID yet? <laughs> we got, yeah. we got already. Yeah. No, but I got COVID like a year ago. I got COVID that when actually people got it, people thought you were going to die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because now I think it's like normal. Everybody has COVID now. But I, I actually got it cuando estaba de moda, you know, like. <laughs> oh <laughs> yes you know like like oh my god i i think my family called the funeral parlor like <laughs> because <laughs> yeah because i i got covid when when it was quarantena like two months after of the of the lockdown lock down lock down of the quarantine and um and then i got really really sick and, you know, all my family called me crying. Oh, my God, are you okay? Oh, yes, I'm so, okay. Don't worry. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And now it's like, hey, ¿qué onda ya? Y te duele, no. Oh, you know. <laughs> but it was a big, big chaos. What was the reason? You, you Maybe your, your body feels different? Or because now you, you get used to? And before no, you... I, you I, were... I only had it once. But uh, right, when I right, when but, I got but, it, it was horrible. Uh, okay. Oh, it depends of your body, no? Your your defense of your body. Yes, it, it does. But I have I had every symptom 
Right. Every symptom that COVID, I was, I even did a check, 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 check. So I went lost, to the hospital? That was, that was my next step. Oh. That was, that was, that was my next, like, yo ves una mentira, the doctor, like, she told me, can you walk 10 steps and not get tired? Yes, but I couldn't, I couldn't even walk. My body hurt so much. Like, oh, Oh my god. Yes, I, I lost I lost my sense of smell, of taste. Pero lo que menos soporté fue el dolor de cuerpo, man. That was it's like all yeah. your body. I slept on the floor and, and I couldn't I moved and it was bad. But really, really I think the injections have helped. Yes, yeah. you know you know what I did bad? really bad because uh, uh, after I, I I feel those symptoms mm -hmm. I I I got there I got the COVID uh, injection right mm -hmm. yeah oh one w like 10 days later and I feel again two days or oh, horrible this the same pain on my head a headache and I know I I think it was my wrong one because I I didn't tell the the over there in the hospital I didn't tell that I just got the the symptoms and and I, it was it was cool. I I made that yes you know I many people test. yeah many people say that it's a it's a conspiracy blah blah whatever and and I tell people look I don't I don't know but I got COVID. And what I felt, I had never felt before. Really, I had never felt before because people tell me, it's fiebre, the government wants to, the United States government, they want to trick you. And I say, I don't care. Look, it really hurts. So, no, it's fiebre. And um, if remember like a year ago, you see that more people were dying Yes. And yeah. only little people infected. I mean, little people were being infected and a lot of people dying. Yeah. Now it's more people are infected, but not many people are dying. Yes. Which is good, which is good. So I think I think the injections are work. They work. They have, yes. yeah. they have helped. Yeah. So okay, thank you very oh, much, class. Excuse uh, me. Yes. One last question. How do you, how can you say injections or vaccines? Vaccines, vaccines uh, actually, it's vaccines, but since they are injected, yeah. So you can you can say both. Okay. And the only recommendation I can give it to you is that if you ever feel bad or anything, please listen to the doctors. Yes. Because there are many many people who are sometimes ignorant and they call you, mira. All you have to do is, um, I don't know if I told you, but my, my brother, he works in the OPS and the video And he, he was very angry because, you know, people tell you, no, toma limonada because the lemon is good and then jengibre and you put, the, 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 you know, people are, are, are doctors and they tell me it's bad because le afecta los diabeticos, the COVID. And my brother says, the majority of people who are diabetic, they never know they are diabetic until they have the exam. So if you're telling people to drink lemonade, okay, it's good. But with lemonade, they put sugar. And they're <laughs> drinking eight lemonades a day, they're eating sugar. And imagine if that person has diabetes, you are killing that person. Mm -hmm. So that's what my brother says. So like, Listen to the doctors. List, the doctors will ask you, are you diabetic? No. Is your family diabetic? Is your father? And they start asking like all your family tree because they want to uh, descartar. So if, if you ever, if your family gets sick, please call the 321 or something. Yeah, 321, no, 132. 132. Three, three, two. Yeah. They're very nice. They call you 
frequently. They call me like five times every, every day. day. Yes, nice. And they send you medicine, everything. It was very good. All right. Now, oh, ya pasó lo feo, but I think I told Jenny last time because Jenny had COVID. Um, now that I think about it, I really enjoyed my two weeks. <laughs> because I was, I was, I, actually I was in this room and this room is, is in the back of my house. And um, I was isolated and it was very nice to like just people knock on my door and I and I open and my food was there. Yeah. And when like I finish, a, it was like a hotel. Yeah, I was like in a hotel, except I was very sick, but and, then I, and, I, and all I have to do is just put my plates outside and just knock. I watch all the sitcoms and, and Netflix and everything. And I said, I'm never gonna have this time again in my life. <laughs> 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 yes. Okay, class. Thank you very much. You have a great okay. Wednesday. You, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, good night. Tomorrow. Good night. Um, good night. Miren, una cosa, una cosa antes de terminar, antes de terminar, para los que leyeron y los que no leyeron, les recomiendo mucho. Me gustó todos los que leyeron tienen buen acento. Se les entendía bien. Ahora necesitamos un poquito más de fluidez y esa es una de las mejores formas de practicar fluidez es leyendo. <laughs> Pero eso sí, no sé si les dije una vez, a algunos creo que les dije, la mejor forma de practicar la fluidez es leyendo, pero ¿leer qué? Ah, lean cosas de niños. Lean Caperucita Dora. Roja. Dora la exploradora. Do, ya, yeah, Dora, ajá. ¿Por qué? Porque lo que ustedes quieren es fluidez, no comprensión. Y ahí es donde la gente confunde. But this is easy, no. Pero lo que yo quiero es que ustedes lean la oración completa sin, sin, uh, ¿me entienden? Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, yeah. Winnie the Pooh went to visit Tigger. And the, <laughs> no, I was, um, pero en vez de decir Winnie the Pooh went to the store with Tigger and they ate a pizza. Entonces, ahí donde le digo, so, leanlo otra vez. Winnie the Pooh went to the store and he ate a pizza. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie, hasta que. Porque la, la, los libros para niños, si ustedes se dan cuenta, son dos o tres oraciones por página. Incluso yeah. en esos lugares de, de usados. Yo ahí, ahí también cuando veo eso, yo compro esos libros y se los leo a mi niño. ¿Me entienden? Ahí, ahí hay muchos de esos libros. Cuando un día vean. Ah, y ven sí, esos libritos. Varios. Ajá, sí. Y, y es, y, y, pero lo que les digo, no confundan su comprensión con la fluidez, porque a la hora de estudiar, ¿qué es lo que quieren estudiar? Comprensión o fluidez. Entonces el problema que la gente hace, oh, me dijo el teacher que necesito leer, no vayan a leer el Señor Pop de los lyrics. Anillos, Lord of the Rings, <ríe> o Don the Rings. Quijote, man, en inglés, porque ahí hasta yo me trabo, oh, what? <ríe> porque es todo medieval. No, man. Lean algo simple, simple, porque lo que quieres es repetir, repetir esa oración, repetir esa oración. Hasta que. Y lean puntuación también. Es importante. Lean comas, lean puntos. Y van a ver qué fácil es. Y si no, vean la historia en, en, en Google. En Google salen cuentos. Lean el cuento de los tres cerditos. Yeah. Yo eso pongo a mi esposa a hacer. No, y le digo, léeselo al niño y si el niño, y si agarras la atención del niño, es porque se lo está leyendo bien ya, yeah, y eso es muy cierto, sus, sus hijos son la prueba porque si uno le lee un cuento a un niño y el, y el, y el cerdito iba y sopló el lobo y el pobre niño va a estar ah, boring, pero si uno lo tiene activo es que lo está oh leyendo God. bien so do that, leer así llegar a ese punto en inglés es good if, okay. I read the, if I read the, the, that kind of books to my kids, they will try to kill me well, your kids are big now yeah, 29 oh. and 33 <laughs> oh, oh yeah, no, no, no then read, read biography. <laughs> okay. 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 Solo un consejo que le doy en eso. Si un día quieren practicar su inglés y todo eso, es la fluidez así se practica. Okay. Leyendo cosas simples. All right.
Okay, right. thank you. Okay, thank you, sir. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Have a great thank day. You. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye.